We're going to be working around fuel here, so we want to take some basic safety precautions. Always work in a well-ventilated area free of any source of ignition. That means hot incandescent shop lights and hot water heaters. If you smoke, now's a really good time to quit, at least while you're performing this work. As always, whenever you're working on your vehicle, you should be wearing safety glasses, and now's a good time to get yourself some chemical resistant gloves. But most importantly, have a properly rated and fully charged fire extinguisher handy and know how to use it. Before you begin this job, you will need to remove the fuel rail from both the 6 or 8 cylinder motor, depending on which you have, and thoroughly drain it. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance with that task. With the fuel rail out of the car and on your bench, start working at the back of the rail using internal snap ring pliers to remove the internal snap ring that holds the fuel pressure regulator in the rail. With the snap ring removed, pull the fuel pressure regulator out of the housing in the fuel rail. Do not pry between it, it will bend. Working at one of the injectors, use a flathead screwdriver to remove the injector retaining clip. Twist and pull on the injector at the same time to remove the injector from the rail. With a pick, lever on the inside of the O-ring at the top of the injector and pull the O-ring off the injector. Working at the bottom of the injector, use a pick to lever off the lower ring. Installation is the reverse of removal. You can use a little white lithium grease on the O-rings when reinstalling them. Once they're back in, power up the system and check for leaks before you start the engine. And expect the vehicle to run rough for the first couple of seconds as air is purged from the system. Working at the right side of the fuel rail, use internal snap ring pliers to remove the internal snap ring that holds in the fuel pressure regulator. With the snap ring removed, pull the fuel pressure regulator out of the housing in the fuel rail. Do not pry between them, you can bend the rail. Moving to one of the injectors, use a flathead screwdriver to lever off the injector retaining clip. Twist the injector while pulling it out of the fuel rail to remove it. With a pick, lever on the inside of the O-ring at the top of the injector and pull the O-ring off the injector. Working at the bottom of the injector, use a pick to lever off the lower ring. Installation is the reverse of removal. You can use a little white lithium grease on the O-rings when reinstalling them. Once they're back in, power up the system and check for leaks before you start the engine. And expect the vehicle to run rough for the first couple of seconds as air is purged from the system. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.